Virgin Galactic's tourism spaceship reached a milestone today, taking it one step closer to flying tourists into space. KCON9's Candace Kern has more from the Mojave Desert. Today's launch happened right on the airstrip behind us. You can see uh, the White Knight 2 parked there in front of the hangar. It carried the rocket up into the air as employees and spectators cheered on. And with that, Spaceship 2 took off a major milestone as Virgin America flew its first pilots to the edge of space. And today's test flight, the VSS Unity, was released and fired its rocket motor for planned duration of 50 seconds. The flight achieved a maximum altitude of 51.4 miles. That's the boundary NASA uses when handing out astronaut wings. The company said their goal was to fly higher and faster than previous flights. And here's a look from outer space. Now, this is huge because it's the first step towards space tourism. Virgin Galactic's founder, Richard Branson, has been competing against fellow billionaires Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos to be the first to send paying passengers into space. We spoke to a spectator who witnessed today's launch. It was awesome to just uh, see it burn and, and for them to be announcing uh, the altitude and the speed was just, uh, it was a little bit overwhelming actually. So it's a uh, it's history. History was made here today. For Richard Branson, you can see him there. He was all smiles, even hugged the pilots after a successful takeoff. Branson had promised to start taking tourists to the edge of space by the end of the year. So far, 800 people have already signed up. Tickets are $250,000. Reporting in Mojave, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.